After spending a month with family, hanging out, and just being in the moment with them, we are finally ready to explore. And today, we are going to explore around some of these magnificent huge trees you see around us. Now, these trees that we're parked amongst aren't very big. They're big to us, but they're actually not that big. And today, we're going to show you guys some old growth redwoods. Now, we're talking like thousand year old trees maybe even more than that yeah yeah we're in a county park right now that has that's surrounded in redwoods but these are babies compared yeah. to what we're gonna see yeah we're going on the cathedral trail in the prairie creek redwoods state park yes yes there, there are a lot <laughs> there of, are a lot of them. yeah there's a lot of different <laughs> state parks and there's a national and state park around here so just a bunch of different parks that have to do with redwoods so we're like which one are we which going one? to i don't remember <laughs> but we're going to check out the visitor center first and the trail we're going on has a tree named big tree it is the oldest in the park it's a big tree it's a big tree <laughs> and it is 1500 years old and just a word of warning, it's the same size as our RV. Yeah, across. <laughs> yeah. It is as wide as our <laughs> RV is long. Yeah, so we're really excited to go see this massive tree. But the cool part about it is without it being signed, you don't even know which one it is because they're all that big. Yeah, there, there's a, <laughs> supposedly a, just a ton of huge trees in that area. We couldn't find any free dispersed camping up here by the Redwood State and National Parks but we basically got the next best thing. We found a really nice, um, lightly trafficked, it's not very busy, uh, county park called Florence Keller County Park. It's only $15 a night and there's no hookups, but there is water spigots just all around uh, at the various sites and it's drinking water. So you can't hook it up to your RV, but you can just you know fill up jugs and then dump it into the fresh tank. And what's really nice about this park is it gives the illusion of being in the forest while not really being in the forest. There are redwood trees everywhere and there's pretty dense vegetation, but there is a road just nearby and, and just outside of the park is a neighborhood. So you're not really in the forest, more of woods, but I mean, it really does give that illusion of being in the forest and it's nice and cheap. There's not a lot of people here. It's a really nice park. Yeah, we're here on a Friday and this whole section of the loop that we're camped on is empty except for us. Yeah, and the <laughs> uh, the alternative was staying inside of the state and national parks for $35 a night or staying at some of the private campgrounds in the area which are well over $40 a night. So for yeah. us, this was a no brainer. Yeah, and a lot of those didn't have hookups too. So yeah more expensive for basically the same thing. <laughs> yeah, and there are trails all over, there's a playground, and you'll see all that in Jenny's site review that she's gonna do for this campground when we leave. So if you wanna know more, and if you wanna know a great, cheap, um, not that busy park to stay at while I'm visiting the Redwoods, be sure to check that out. But we're really excited for our adventures in the real redwood forests here soon. And I'm gonna keep an eye out for an animal that they've got in the area here that we've seen in this county park once. And that is the banana slug. They're these huge yellow slugs. And they're like as long as my yeah. hand, they're huge. Yeah, they're pretty cool. So hopefully I can see one so I can show you guys, but they're kind of hard to spot because they're like bright yellow. And not only that, but if you do happen to spot one, you got to be quick because, you know, if you see one, you've only got about half an hour, bef you know, to get the camera out and get the right shot ready <laughs> because, I mean, you know, 30 minutes goes by and now they're on the other side of the trail and, you know, so you got to be quick. These are slugs we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my grandpa told me that if you lick a banana slug, your tongue will go numb. Yeah, Jenny's gonna test that for us and then report back. No, I'm not. No. What? <laughs> All right, fine. Well, well let's get going. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
finally made it to our hike. We are in the big trees right now, not the biggest of the big trees yet. We're almost there though. We are on a trail system. We thought it was just Cathedral Trees Trail. Yeah. As it turns out, the part we want to see is actually four trails. <laughs> so we're starting on Prairie Creek Trail. We're moving to Foothills Trail, then Cathedral Trees Trail, and then ending on Elk Prairie Trail. How'd it's you, kind of a big loop. How'd you remember all that? Because I just looked at it. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that makes sense then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's about three miles, we think. We don't really know how long it is since we're jumping all over the place, but... It's, it's right in our range yeah. and it's not too strenuous. Most of it is actually ADA accessible. Mm -hmm. Just the cathedral trees portion of the trail is considered strenuous and yeah. that's not gonna be very long anyway, so. Yeah, so most of it is gonna be a real nice easy hike through the, through the forest. Some of it is gonna get a little strenuous when we hop to cathedral trees trail, but it's gonna be, it's gonna be a nice hike. Really nice and it smells awesome here. Well, of course. It this, smells great. Yeah, it's clean air from the from the forest. Yeah. Yeah, and there's a there's a little creek, Prairie Creek, right along this trail. It's just it's absolutely beautiful and there's old ferns and there's old trees. It is beautiful, beautiful. here. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, and we saw some elk. We did. They were really far off. We couldn't really get that close to them. Hopefully, we can get a little closer, but we were hoping to see some elk. There are various viewing areas in and around the Redwood State Parks, so mm -hmm. hoping to see some elk. Yeah, and the end of this trail goes right past that big prairie that they were on, so hopefully they're, you know, in a little closer <laughs> position for us to get a good view of them for you. Hopefully we get lucky on the way out yeah. and they're like just right there. That's a big tree. That's a bigger tree. That's a big tree. That's a big tree. Oh, that's a big tree. These are big trees. That's a big tree. That's a big tree. Those are big trees. That's big tree. Well, that was big tree and yeah, it was a pretty big tree. Yeah, very big tree. And it's a good thing that it's very well marked because there are a lot of big <laughs> trees around here. There are. It, you would almost walk right past it because there are so many other big trees and you would see that one and say, yeah, that's a big tree. And which is basically what has been happening this whole time you're walking and just massive trees are all over the place. And not only that, but apparently there are even bigger trees in this forest than big tree. So I, I'm not sure what big tree did to gain its notoriety to obtain the name big tree, but yeah, apparently there are even bigger ones. Yeah, which is really cool. And I don't know if we're gonna get to see them or if we'll even notice them when we walk past them or if they're just all really big trees. <laughs> yeah, we are on the more strenuous portion of our walk today, our hike. We're on a Cathedral Trees Trail now. So hopefully we see some cathedral quality trees. I think we will. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this tree behind me that we're walking past right now is very, very interesting. Back at Big Tree, we learned about reiterated trunks which is a portion of the tree that grows out from a damaged section, essentially turning into another part of the tree. And on this tree, it is very obviously dead until you look up and then you can see a part of it that has grown straight out and then straight up. It's regrown itself out of the burnt section. And it's just really cool. It's so interesting to learn these things about these cool trees.
We made it back to the truck and Cathedral Trees Trail did not disappoint. There no. were definitely some cathedral scale trees out there <laughs> rivaling the size of Big Tree, if not possibly even bigger. Yeah, I, some of those sure did seem that like they were probably bigger than Big Tree, but who knows? I don't have a tape measure <laughs> yeah, going <we> around. <laughs> we didn't have a 26 foot tape measure to see. 76 foot tape measure to go around, see if the circumference is yeah. bigger. They're all big. They're, They're big, all big trees. And it's, I mean, I'm, I know that the camera didn't get the scale, so. No, not at all. I mean, just looking at them even, you're like, I don't Whoa. know, it, it's, it's hard to comprehend the scale, even just looking at them. It almost so. feels like they're not real just even standing next to them. Yeah, they're huge. And these trees even made the giant sequoias we saw in Yosemite look like baby trees. And those trees made every single tree that I've seen before <laughs> then look like babies. So every tree around me now is basically just a, a weed compared to the big trees here in the Redwood State and National Parks. Yep. And we're really excited. We got to see three banana slugs. Jenny was spotting them like crazy. And I don't even know how she saw them because I walked right over them. And she was like, oh, banana slug. I turn around, boom, there it is. And I was like, quick, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to toot my own horn or anything, but I'm pretty quick with a camera. Cause so I was like, wow, you gotta get the slug real quick. And I whipped out the camera, got it going. And I got that baby in there. Before it ran yeah, away. Yeah, before it just, you know, gone. I liked that noise. That was Yeah, you like that? Was, I don't even know where that came from. <laughs> I, that's the noise slugs make apparently. <laughs> but we even saw a baby slug and that was neat too. He was, was only about really the yeah only about the size of Jenny's pinky finger. So David spotted that. Yeah, one. somehow I was I was able to spot that one even Oblivious though. Oblivious to everything else. Yeah. But spotting the banana slug. So it was cool to see them, almost the state's national mollusk, or the state's national. The <laughs> <laughs> almost the state mollusk, the banana slug. Mm -hmm. You'll just have to look that up on your own of yeah. why it almost became we, we, California's national gosh dang it California's <laughs> state mollusk <laughs> we we saw it on uh in the visitor center that the it, it was passed and passed and passed and then the governor vetoed it saying that it what what it, it wasn't, wasn't dignified enough was. to be the state's mollusk <laughs> <laughs> I don't know we thought it was really funny <laughs> yeah well okay there you go you don't have to look it up because we just told you yeah that's easier anyway <laughs> we're back at the campground and back at the RV for the night and on the way home we got to see another animal that we really <laughs> wanted to see while we were here. We drove past uh, Elk Meadow? Elk uh, Meadow, yes. Oh yeah, it's Elk so. Meadow, I'm pretty sure. And, <laughs> and it's an elk viewing area and there was just a ton of elk. Unfortunately, there were none with, you know, really big antlers, um, mm -hmm. but there was a male, there was one male and he had really small antlers. I and saw the, a second male. Oh, okay. But yeah, there were just, yeah, ton of elk and you could kind of see them from a safe distance. Yeah. And it was it was pretty cool because we really wanted to see elk because we've heard that they're, you know, all over the place around yeah. here. Uh, it's Roosevelt elk is the type of elk we saw. And apparently they used to be endangered in this area and on the brink of extinction, I believe. I yeah. remember that. I'm saying. pretty sure. Yeah, but they're making a comeback, the info panel said, and I think they're safe. I think they're going to be okay. Yeah. going to be all right? I think so. Okay. It's pretty cool because the elk, they graze out in open meadows like that and they only spend some time in the tree line, but they're not really found in heavily wooded mm -hmm. areas. And I found that really interesting because I honestly thought that they wouldn't be out in open grassy areas like that, but it said that they're they're not typically yeah. in the woods really. They, they, they shelter in the woods from rain and stuff. Yeah. And what was the name of that road? Davison? Davis. Davison. David something. Uh, it's either Davis Road or Davison Road. I'm gonna go ahead and put it, the correct one, the correct name right there. <laughs> and that's the name of the road right off of Highway 101 that we went to. And apparently there's elk there almost all the time. It used to be land owned by a dairy company and that's where they had their cows grazing at. And apparently the grass right there is non native, non native yeah. to the area, but the elk love it too. So they're like always there grazing on that. Mm -hmm. So if you want to see elk when you come to the redwoods, 
go there. Highly recommend it. Highly, highly recommend it. There were also a few elk um, near the Prairie Creek Visitor Center, just across the road, yeah. and those ones had big yeah, antlers. Yeah, those were full-grown bucks. Yes. But they, you, you can't get close to them. I mean, they, they have to approach you. There's a fence that you're not yeah. allowed to cross, so if the only way to see them up close is if you get lucky and the elk just happen to be up near the fence. Yeah, or if you have binoculars or a oh. telephoto lens or anything like that, you can see them. Yeah. Um, but they're pretty far away. Today has been a great adventure day. We got to see basically everything we wanted to see when coming to the Redwoods. We got to see, you know, giant redwoods that make, you know, the giant sequoias in Yellowstone, or in Yosemite. Ah, you did it. You did it. You all got, she was making fun of me for it, for mixing up Yellowstone and Yosemite, and you just did it. And I got it on camera. Yes. You all get to see it, yes. You're so excited for something so simple. <laughs> I am, uh, I don't know. You're making fun of it for me, so... I was, I So was. it's just, it's redemption. It's redemption in the sweetest way. <laughs> Alright, anyway, the trees here make the giant sequoias in Yosemite look small. So we got to see those, which was awesome. We also got to see elk, and we also got to see banana slugs. Yeah. So it was pretty cool. Yeah, we, before we even got here, we knew we wanted to see those three things. And mm -hmm. we got to see them today, so that's awesome. Yeah, but... Even though we got to see everything we wanted to see, our adventures are not through here. Nope. We have been told that there are tide pools in the area. Two viewing areas are currently closed due to a bridge being out and the other one due to a mudslide. And so we're going to go really far south and mm -hmm. hopefully see if we can find some near Prairie something. I don't know. I don't know the name of it, but I that's what that's what's coming up in the next video here. Yeah. Hopefully tide pools, maybe a coastal hike. I don't know. It's going to be kind of an ocean themed kind of thing. Because we're near the Pacific Ocean. It's like, right? It's somewhere. It's really close. I don't know what direction, but we're going to go. It's that way. Okay. It's that way. So, and it's really close. Really, really close. So. <laughs> it's within like two miles. Yeah. So we're going to go check that, check out the Pacific Ocean, maybe some tide pools, maybe a coastal hike. Who knows? Yep. So that should be our next hike and we're very, very excited for it. But yep. today is over and we are gonna go inside and relax now. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you want more videos from us, be sure to subscribe. And if you want more information on what we did today, be sure to check out the link to the blog post in the description below. We'll catch you guys later. Bye.